Hmm, get a tragic here and welcome to my next tool for Tabletop Simulator. This one is a tool to help with editing tags on objects. Now, in uh, Tabletop Simulator, a while back they bought in a uh, tag system. And the tag system is basically just a way of putting identifiers on objects. And there's lots of great tools to use tags and uh, you know you probably want to use them so if you if you you can right click and go tag you can add tags you can look at all the tags in the scene but once you've got complicated mods you end up with many many tags and it can be quite difficult to access them in this UI so this mod basically does that for you so it's very, very simple. Basically, anything on the tool will be processed when you click these buttons. The button, there's four buttons, or four functions of the two buttons. So you've got add tags, and if you right click it, it'll replace the tags, right? You've got left click to clear all tags. That's like remove all the tags completely and right click to remove individual tags. Now it gets the tag list from the object itself. If you right click on the object and go into the description field, you've got basically add and remove. So if I write add my tag 01, and then I just copy that, I'll make that 02, I'll make this one 03, I'll make this one 04, and in remove tag, I'll uh, just remove two and three. Okay, so just follow the format. One, one tag per line, so it's add, colon, and then your tag. And these uh, tags in Tabletop Simulator are case insensitive, and this mod is case insensitive. But it'll actually save them in, cam in, in camel case, like with proper case, because it's just easier for me to read. But as far as functionality goes, just like all tags in Tabletop Simulator, they are case insensitive. Also, uh, if you have spaces, you know, like it'll it'll just, like if I put spaces on all these, it'll just remove all those spaces. So it'll, it'll get rid of white spaces. So basically it's just add colon and then your tag name, remove colon and your tag name. So if I look at these tags, if I, oh wait, before, if you go into options and go to game keys, a number of uh, hotkeys are added to this mod. So make sure you've got numlock off and I've set tag print to keyboard, keypad one, I've got add, replace, clear, and remove. So if I just press the one on top of these objects, and if you look down into the, I'll, I'll sort of make it bigger in the video, but if you look down at the chat window, it actually prints out the tag. So if I do it mouse over the white one and I press it, you, it also prints it out. You'll notice that the pink one, I actually gave it a name, so it used its name, but the white one has no name, so it uses its EULA game identifier. So now if I remember, we've added our tags in. So now if I hit add tags, boom, you get a little printout saying what's going on and it does rearrange the, the tag list in alphabetical order just for ease of reading. And now if I print out on these objects, you can see that all those tags have been added. Okay, so we have one to four. And if you remember in our thing we had remove tag 02 and 3 and you can see that the tag actually has spaces but it doesn't matter so we're going to right click on the bottom one which is to remove individual tags boom and you can see that it's removed individual tags and now if we print out you can see it's only got tags 1 and 4 the add tags is additive so if i get rid of all those add tags. And this time I go add, uh, this is another tag. And now I go add tags. 
and now I print out, you can see that it's kept the existing tags, right, which was one and four, and it's added the new one. But if I right click, it'll replace. So if I click on the right click now, it's replaced them. So now when I print out, it's just, this is another tag because it's removed all the existing tags and replaced them which, which, with whatever was uh, you know set to add. And of course the final button is just clear. So if you just left click it, boom, it'll just clear all the tags no matter what they are. Okay, now the options in the game keys are basically the same function. So you've got print, you've got add, Okay, replace, clear, and remove. So remove is remove individual tags, clear is clear all tags, replace is replace tags, add is additively add new tags to existing tags. And this works on mouse over of an object, okay? So let me just go back here. I'll just put these back in. So what was it? My tag my tag 01, we'll just put, uh, we'll just put four, three. Oh, and these are out of order. These, these, the, you can put these in out of order and uh, it'll, it'll put them in order. Okay, so we're gonna tag these objects with one to four and we can remove tags three and two. But this also works on decks. So if I get a object component, I grab a deck of cards, standard deck. If I now do add tags, you can see that it processes all the cards in the deck itself. So now when I print out, you can see that the uh, Now when I print out, got to have num lock on, you can see that the tag is added to the deck and the tags are added to the, uh, you know, the individual cards. And of course, the same with remove, okay? See, individual cards placed on the thing work and decks work. And you can have as many of these decks as, you know, you like, okay? And as many of these objects as you like. So if I do clear all tags, boom. And you'll see that there's a bit of a, a lag there. Because there's so much printing going on to the, to the chat log here, it can lag a little when you're doing large decks. So if you look up here, you've got printouts results. Green is print everything. And if you, if you mouse over it, it tells you what it does. If I click red and I do, uh, let's do right click to replace you can see that it's sort of like a truncated list. It just tells you what it's doing. It did deck one and it processed the deck. Deck two, processed the deck, you know, whatever. It also stopped uh, printing out for individual objects as well. But if I click it to blue, right? And now I do replace you'll see that it does the object, it prints out everything except the individual cards. And that's sort of like a, a semi verbose way of doing it. But as you can see, you know, the tool gets pretty clogged when you're doing large things. So it does work recursively on bags. And to make it a bit easier, I've got a spawn bag button. So if you press this five times, it'll spawn five bags. But if you right click it, it'll spawn uh, a full set of 20 bags. So let's spawn a single bag. And if I dump all this stuff in here, okay, and I can also have other things just sitting on the table. And now I do it, so let's do a right click replace. You can see in the chat log, it's found processing bag one, so that's, that's it. Like if I put two of these bags here, you can see processing bag one, processing bag two, and it shares all the objects plus processing the deck. And that's on the blue result. If I put it to green and I did it, 
you, you get to see all the individual stuff and it takes a lot longer, okay? I should probably make blue the default. Anyway, so that's basically the mod. Uh, anything sitting on the board will be tagged. Anything inside a bag will be tagged. Now, if you want to tag bags themselves, uh, you have to uh, place them in a bag. So basically, if I let's spawn one more bag, if I get this bag here, I just rename this as tag bag. Oh, big pun. Tag bags. If I put these three items in here, and now I do click replace. You can see the first bag says tag bags and then it's processed the individual bags because it only does one level of recursion, right? So any bag you place on this tool, it'll try and tag everything inside it. So if you want to tag bags themselves, they have to be placed inside a bag. And that's basically it. Uh, that's the mod. So you can use the hotkeys to do individual things, you know, so I can clear this one, it's cleared. You can add, remove, replace, whatever, and you've got different printout results. And that is the tag tool. And I'll see you guys next time.